Hello everyone, welcome back to the bunker. There are few things in life that can't be solved by taking time to put the kettle on, have a cup of tea and have a bit of company. Thanks to my nephew Dominic for sending me an audio file of him composing a tune on that piano there. Wasn't that great? What a groovy fella. The lovely thing is we've all been sending each other things, haven't we, to keep our spirits up. I take it we're all having tea again. Still working my way through the pink wafers, Dave. Blimey. They are chewy. So. Mm. Can't actually eat pink wafers and present this thing at the same time. I'm going to dive straight into the Maths favoured film, but wait! Well, thank you very much for all the people who got in touch with me after last week's episode uh, to say how much they loved Paula, the guest editor for the Self-Isolationist Handbook, and her particular fascination with one subject. I want cake! Cake! <laughs> cake! Yes. Um, so what kind of uh, cake do you like, Paula? Gotcha. Victoria sponge, lemon cake, anything. Yes, thought so. Thanks, Paula. Beneath the cake, though, Paula is someone who really gives a damn about the world. And she's chosen a film which is really hard hitting with an amazing message about redemption and turning your back on violence. And she's going to say a little bit afterwards on why this is important to her. And the film is American History X. All that anger, all that hate, has anything you've done made your life better? Derek Vineyard was released from Chino early this morning. Hey man, how you doing? Too big to give me a hug? Oh, it's good to see you. Check this out, man. When'd you get that? What? Well, I came to talk about Danny. He's headed right where you are. What's wrong with you? Cut the kid alone. He thinks the joint mess with your mind. He did. I'm asking you to do whatever's in your power. You know what you're gonna do? You're gonna get me shot by a bunch of white boys. I am out, and Danny is out too. And if you come near my family again, I will feed you your heart. What's happening, Dad? I don't think you realize what's been going on here. We are ten times what we were. They're after you, man. Huh? They're gonna come for me. They're gonna come for me. There ain't nothing I can do. Hey, Danny! Get it! Get it! There was a 19-year-old girl that was killed on Sunday outside Little, oh. drive-by shooting one person. And it just made me think that if I could change anything in this world, it would be violence, death. People are dying unnecessarily and wrongfully. Well, you've certainly given us a lot to think about there, Paula. Thank you, and I'll check out American History X again. So I think after that, there's all the more need for the next segment, which is things that bring joy. So I never really talk about camarados in these broadcasts because this is about doing, not preaching. But we're going to talk about something that's really important to us, which is how it shouldn't be rocket science that people will do good things if they're having fun and if they feel good about themselves. And this is a clip that proves that for me and um, has brought me joy over many years. And it's from a competition launched by Volkswagen called Fun Theory. I think you're gonna love it.
Isn't that absolutely wonderful? It's fantastic. We should all deploy fun more in our institutions, our services, get in touch with being more human and, and having more fun. So I'm very sad to report that our beloved Cal, who presents the Self-Isolationist Handbook, is still in hospital. Cal, we are thinking about you, my friend, and we're sending all our best wishes. I know that everyone watching this is doing that right now. Paula stepped in last week, which was amazing, but this week we're gonna hear from a fellow who lives on my street, a fantastic fellow called Dave, who met in my back garden, two meters away, and uh, filmed it on my phone. Take it away, Dave. Hello, I'm Dave, and I've been living on my own for 22 years. 15 of those years I've been self-isolating. And the reason for that is because nobody likes me. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> <laughs> you don't need television. I haven't had television for years and years and years. And believe me, it's crap. <laughs> there is nothing on it worth watching. So throw it out the window and get on with your life, listen to music, do word puzzles, they keep your brain going. And if you actually play music on an instrument, get it out and annoy the neighbours. Having a job to do each day is very vital because that gives you a target for what to get out of bed and get on. You can't have a drink until you've done the job. Because I can guarantee you, if you start drinking and think you'll do the job later, no chance. Sitting down on, in your back garden and just watching nature take place is absolutely brilliant. There's the flowers to watch, the birds to see, the insects. And if you're really lucky, you get to see the colour on the birds. You until you take the time out to sit down and look at it, you really won't appreciate how iridescent birds are they're just colors are fantastic to see and sometimes you just sit there and keep your mouth shut and just having a cup of tea and you're nice and quiet sometimes a mouse will come out of a hole and come and collect a little bit of food and just sphere back in you don't see that when you're rushing around like a blue arse fly it's time for me to go I'm sure you'll be rather pleased about that. But don't say yes to doing things you don't want to do. You don't have to. There, there is a word, no. And if you want to actually avoid people and stay quiet and out of the way, so I play, don't forget to just say, that's okay, thank you for asking, but no thanks. And there is one thing you can always do to help deter people, and that's that. <laughs> so, uh, apologies for the um, uh, sign-off there, but uh, Dave tell, tells it like it is. <laughs> Thanks, Dave. See you on Tuesday. So, this brings us now to a very popular slot called Thingamigig still love that hashtag so they keep on coming these thingamy gigs and um, people playing music on household objects for the rest of us to um guess this week uh, we're going to samuel in pearly and his watering can <laughs> that's fantastic samuel um funnily enough my kids got this straight away it is, of course, the scariest watering can in the world, because it's this. The force is strong with you, Samuel. We now go to Louis, or perhaps in this clip we should call him Lou, um, who reminds us of those early days of coronavirus when we were all buying Lou rolls. Here is the thingamy gig from Louis. Do you remember the scarcity of Lou Wells? Louie was hogging them all to make his Lou Well drum kit, evidently. Nice one, Lou. So, um, anybody spot what Lou was playing there? It was, of course, the Simpsons theme tune. <laughs> Who
who was it who said America should be more like the Waltons than the Simpsons? Yeah. What were they thinking? Okay, so um, some efforts from home now. My kids have had a go. And here is Fred on his toaster. Fred is actually playing a theme tune to one of my favourite films. I'm amazed it hasn't made it onto a bit of company. Maybe next week. It is, of course... So we now have a big finish for you. In fact, a bit of a Bond film spectacular finish from a bonkers family on multiple instruments in the kitchen who don't just play the tune underneath so you can hear what it is anyway, but also do something so frankly dangerous in order to add presumably a sort of show spectacular to the whole proceedings, kind of light show, that um, they almost burn their house down. So please do not try this at home. <laughs> Thank you, Simon. Uh, Simon actually happens to be one of the foremost chefs in the world and an amazing visionary entrepreneur, helping homeless people get their life back together, um, but a complete disregard for safety, like me, I guess. So thanks for joining me again this week, folks. Next week's episode will be the 10th bit of company. And as lockdown starts to ease a little, maybe uh, I probably ought to stop bothering you with these things. Do send us in any thingamy gigs that you have and uh, keep in touch. Maybe we can go out with a bang. Take care. As my dad would say, peace, happiness, love each other.